What's up everyone? Tim McEntee here, back with a new video. I'm gonna show you guys my new enclosed trailer setup. In the last video I had the pressure washer in the back of the truck. Now I just got my pool equipment back in there. Bleach and pole and everything. I bought this enclosed trailer about a week ago. Gonna store my pressure washer in here. Keep it out of the elements and stuff. Gonna have it in the corner. That way I don't have to take it out as much. Plus I have a big job and I need to tow it around. I'm gonna have that in the back. Hoses and then uh, put the surface cleaner here for, for now. Got this little board here to hold it in place while I'm driving. But I'm just gonna work with it for a week or two and see how it works. Get an idea how, how I wanna arrange the trailer and whatnot. But I also do lawn and pools. So I got my lawnmower in here and my stick equipment. I see a lot of people put their equipment on the walls, but I'm gonna try to put it on the floor here. That way when I come to the door, it's easy access for things. I can just grab the hedge trimmer, edger, weed whack. Then the blower would be real, real easy. Pull out, have that ready, just pull it right here and just swing it right back in. I strapped the ladder to the wall with these hooks for the time being. Don't want that beating around the trailer. For my screen, I do uh, rescreening for pool enclosures, patios. I'm gonna put some hooks on the wall here for that, to store that up high, get it out of the way. Put some more of those hooks for the uh, round up here. It's in there tight so I don't fall over. This I'm gonna have to get out of the way, maybe on the wall somewhere. So I'm just gonna mess around with it, like I said, for a week or two. See, I want to arrange it, but I'm liking it. It's a six by 14 and closed trailer. I was gonna go 10 or 12, but decided on the extra two more feet. Give me a little bit more room to store things. Definitely gonna do something at the nose of the trailer here. If you guys have any comments or ideas, what I should do up there. Leave it in the comment section. I also put these uh, two by twos down here. One here and then one further up on each side of the tire so it don't move around. i try that, see if it works. I don't know, I have to go maybe two by four. But I also did it on the pressure washer and it's it's worked on the pressure washer for sure so far. Got some odds and ends. Lock the trailer, lock the hitch. Got that from Tractor Supply. But yeah. Looking forward to trying this out. My last trailer was open. It was pretty easy to get to the equipment. But yeah. Gonna hook up the hoses right here. I do the pressure washing and just send it right out this door. Got 150 foot of pressure washer hose, 50 foot of garden hose for now. I'll probably have to get some more, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, this is a four gallon per minute machine I just got a few weeks ago. In my last video, I used it for the first time. Here comes a tra train. I also bought this door plug. Okay, I think it was like 15 bucks online. I forget what they call it. I think it's a door plug, door holder, plug stop. And you just close the door, barely put any pressure on it and it holds it. And it keeps the door open while you're working. That way it's not flinging back and forth. Whenever you just want to undo it, you just pull it a little bit, close it. I love it so far. I think it works awesome. Definitely recommend it. 
some screws popping out there. If I can grind those down or hit it with a hammer, maybe to soften it. But I don't think I'd hit it. But just in case, I might do that. But I'd definitely recommend that for 15 bucks rather than dealing with this. This thing was on there before. I need to just open the door like halfway. But I don't like that. Rather have access and not even have to hold the door open when I'm there. It's so convenient. So I definitely recommend getting that. This is a 48 inch X Mark. It runs pretty good. And it's perfect size for this trailer. It's not too uh, too big. It fits real good in that door. I think 52 would probably be the max I would want to go in here. This is only a single axle trailer. So I don't want to put too much weight in it. But looking forward to using this. And uh, I'll update y'all with any progress I make with it. I'm definitely going to do some more stuff to it. Put some shelving, some hooks. I might hang some stuff from the ceiling as well. Maybe some light stuff. Maybe even the surface cleaner to get it out of the way. But we'll figure something out. Like and uh, subscribe. See all the future updates. And uh, I'm going to keep making these videos for y'all. Thanks.